Ontario. As you fly from south to north, you can see the changes out your window. Straight concession lines in the south turn into erratic logging roads in the north, and subdivisions give way to trees, hills, and lakes. The landscape is vast and dense, with forests of different species. These were some of the first things noticed by the students from southern Ontario on this trip. They still had much to learn about the differences between northern and southern Ontario. The forest industry has a rich history in Ontario. Many northern towns were built around the mills, which provided jobs and supported work in the forest. Today, the mills are still the backbone of these communities. The forest industry in Ontario is second only to the auto industry in its contribution to the provincial economy. Although the industry has faced challenges in the last decade, new opportunities are developing through innovative practices and product development. Can you learn about forests in the classroom? Absolutely! Technology makes it easier than ever to learn about the forest without even stepping foot outside. Infrared imagery can tell us what kind of trees are out there, how many and how old they are. All this from a desktop computer, but nothing beats getting outside to learn firsthand. The Southern Ontario students visited a forest-dependent northern community and participated in a unique experience known as Conservation Camp. Conservation Camp is a three-day outdoor adventure that teaches firsthand what forest management is all about. Most of the students had no idea how our forests were managed. The students interacted with the people directly involved in forest management, including foresters, loggers, wildlife managers, First Nations, and educators. During the trip, the students found their views were challenged. Many were surprised to learn that Canada has some of the best sustainable management practices in the world. They thought that clear-cutting was simply about getting as many trees as possible as fast as possible. They learned that clear-cutting actually mimics one of the largest natural disturbances in northern forests, fire. Fire is an important part of the northern ecosystem, and the trees need the open spaces left by fire to regrow. If we suppress fire for our own safety, we need to replace it with a similar disturbance, such as clear-cutting. The students also learned basic outdoor skills that are required to be a forester. A forester is someone who practices forestry and the profession of managing forest resources. They adhere to a code of ethics, ensuring that our forest resources are being managed in a sustainable manner. I think I like forestry a lot better. I thought it was pretty good, but now I think they got it worked out, they got it planned, they've got um, clear cutting, they can select cut, but they can all play, but they also um, plant trees back for regrowth and reproduction for more uh, cutting down in the future and making a profit and helping Canada's economy. It really changed my perspective because I was I was thinking along the lines of like the forestry was bad, mm -hmm. but you know, and then to learn that the regulations on forestry are actually stricter. Some of these essential outdoor skills include learning how to navigate through a bush. Even with today's technology, nothing is more reliable than a compass. GPS units are quick and easy to read, but a cloudy day or a dead battery could get you stuck in the middle of nowhere. Pop out your trusty compass and learn your pacing, and you can easily find your way back home. Any forester could tell you this. Once in the woods, the forester has to be able to identify tree species, measure tree height and age, and figure out the forest density. It also helps to know a little bit about soils, hydrology, and forest wildlife. Forest management is a collaborative process in Canada, with many different stakeholders bringing their ideas and goals to the table industry, recreation, tourism, environmentalists, First Nations, and the local community all get a say. This process ensures that the public resource benefits everyone. The students, armed with new knowledge about forestry, use their problem-solving skills to mimic the collaborative process of forest management. They learn that developing a management plan is not an easy task, but that with some work and collaboration, a plan that tries to meet multiple needs is possible. So, how can you get excited about natural resource management and careers in the environment? First, activities in and outside of the classroom can teach you about the forest industry and other resource management activities, while giving you hands-on experiences that only going out into a forest and getting dirty can provide. Another great way to learn about this exciting field is to meet professionals in natural resources and learn more about what they love to do and how they got there. We hope you take our advice and head into the woods to learn and get dirty. These experiences may just inspire you and take you down a road you didn't know was available.
There are many exciting things to do in the forestry industry, so head outside and start experiencing them.